Hello and welcome to Halo Coaching. Now today I want to talk about the transition from being a youth rider to a junior rider. Now a lot of people think that's quite a big transition to go through but in my mind it's not really that difficult. A lot of things do change. You go from racing on closed circuits to being able to race on the open road. But you look at around you and there's a lot of people who've done that transition already. So I never think it's a really, it's something to get worried about. I don't, I don't think that's, that's the key. It just makes racing more exciting. And it's, you know, by the time you get to 16, most people I know, and when I remember it when I, when I was going from schoolboy to junior myself, it was an exciting transition because you were suddenly allowed to be free. You were able to go and ride some of these big races. Um, in the UK though, the key thing is the distance that you will end up racing over. I think one of the things that our youth racing does is it focuses too much on very short distance races. And if you look abroad, you know, you look to Belgium, you look to Holland, the youth riders are in the categories there up to 16, they're, they're riding 50k races, 32 miles. Um, and that's a lot more than, than what we do. You know, that's, you know we, we're lucky if we get an hour in this country in a youth race. And you know, in, in, I've been instrumental in part of the South Division to try and push riders, push races, the length of races, further and make them harder because I just don't think that we're equipping our youth riders with enough, I suppose, proper race experience. It's my opinion, I, you know, it's not the most popular, but I do think that's the key difference, the transition between the shorter races that we have in this country to basically being able to ride open road races. So if you're a, um, a junior girl, you're able to ride the Elite Women's National Road Series. That means riding the Tour of the Reservoir the Lincoln Grand Prix. Now, you're not gonna win them, but they're great races to go and get experience of. But to get around them, you're gonna to need to be riding 60, 70 miles. Now, that is different to riding a 40 minute or 30 minute criterium as a youth rider. So what does that mean? What does that mean you have to do as a rider in your training to go from the youth to the junior ranks? In my mind, it's simple it's ride your bike for longer. Now, I think that's where things get difficult, really, because there's a lot of people out there whose tradition of riding a bike has not been club runs, has not been big rides on open roads with big groups of people. Um, there are pockets of places around the country, I, I think of Leeds, I think of Sheffield, I think of Manchester, um, where that is the case. So the club I grew up in, Mid Devon Road Club down in, down in Newton Abbott and Torquay, they have a massive tradition or a huge tradition of long club runs where young riders are, are looked after and protected, but they're also exposed to the harshness of climbing over climbs on Dartmoor in the winter. You know, as a youth rider, it's very few people out there who get that opportunity. So what's the one of the big things you can do if you're going to making that transition? It is find a club, that will allow you to go out on the club winter club runs with them. They are the bedrock of building endurance capacity. A lot of riders going from youth to junior also have would have finished their GCSEs. One of the key things you can do is ask your school if you can take a Wednesday or a Thursday off, afternoon off, um, obviously when you're not missing any lessons, but actually maybe in you know free periods or whatever and get one extra long ride in a week that makes a huge difference to someone to a rider that has never really done that type of training who's only ever done short turbo sessions or coached sessions at either a track or a local um, car park or whatever or road circuit you know in the end those aren't quite enough just doing those and one longish ride two and a half hours or three hours on a Sunday isn't really enough to equip your body and to build start building the endurance that you'll want to build over many years. So for me the, the key thing is to understand that you're going to be racing longer and to look for opportunities that enable you to ride your bike for longer. It, it's quite simple really and that's that's really what that transition is all about. It's taking you from being someone who's 
being coached all the time to someone who loves riding their bike or is able to ride their bike out on the open road for long periods of time and engaging in that that's the pleasure of what the open road can give you because once you get that in your mind and once you get that experience and once you're, you're comfortable with doing that then riding the extra hours and becoming more of an endurance engine is it just happens naturally.